Hi, this is Rich with Kativ. I wanted to take a couple of minutes here and share with you how you can use iLogic and Inventor to expedite your workflow. Let's take a look at a model I've pre-configured. This is a metal door frame. And with the help of my iLogic form here, I'm going to go ahead and update this. I'm going to first change the height and then the width. Uh, and then I might even change which side the hinges mount on. All of this is very configurable using parameters in Inventor and iLogic code to link it all together. Once I'm happy with my design, I can save it. And now I can push a drawing out straight from the assembly. And you'll see the drawing file that we get is complete with all of the views I need and pre-populated with accurate dimensions. If everything here looks good, simple click of a button and I can add a parts list. The parts list is my complete bill of material that contains all of the components that comprise our assembly here. Let's take a second and jump back into our assembly environment. And now let's take a look at the code that drives this. So I'll open up the rule that creates our drawing, and you can see that it's quite involved, but it saves us a ton of time in the documentation process. So there's a lot of different things that all happen at once here, and they're defined in our iLogic code. Let's also take a quick look at the parameters that drive our assembly model. So you'll see that I can control any aspect of my assembly within my parameters. So let's say now I wanted to make another change. I'll simply launch the form again, update the height and width values. Maybe everything else stays the same. And then once I'm happy with my design, I can once again save the file. And then I can push the drawing out directly from the assembly. So what we're going to see is a process that in the past would have taken hours to create all of your part models, put them together in an assembly, and then document it in a drawing can now be done in a few minutes or even seconds in this case. Uh, we've actually gone through two completely different design iterations in under three minutes. Now if I'm happy with my final design, I have my parts list on the page, I can go ahead and export this. Let's export this out to a PDF so that way it's easily consumable by the rest of the team or perhaps vendors or a customer. I'll title it with the job number so that way we know exactly what it is. And then we'll go ahead and generate our PDF right from inside Inventor. And this can be emailed out to anyone. I hope you found this useful and enjoyable. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Kativ and anyone on the team will be happy to help you.